Dennis is making me a fire, and I am wearing my 2021 earrings from Verena, the lovely flosses that turned into skeins. And I'm wearing the gorgeous sweater that Megan made me for Christmas, which is so beautiful. I have to wear it with long sleeves because it is winter time here. Although, if the fire is warm enough, I may be able to take that off. <laughs> Just have my sweater on. It's so soft. That would be lovely. But it is New Year's Eve and mm -hmm. getting, then it's dark and so I get my fire. And <laughs> oh, I was going to show you my huh, I wonder where it went. I did a swatch that turned out lovely and I decided on a pattern and I don't know what happened to my watch so I'll find it I'm sure. so the fires just started this is the pattern I decided to pick which is the backbone now I'm not going to do the cables down the back which is what it gets its name I love this 50s collar and the three-quarter sleeves so this is what I'm going to do and this is what this watch looks like didn't that turn out gorgeous I'm very excited about it that's the combination of this yarn from Megan and the gray kid silk haze. And I am really happy with how it turned out. And I am going to take this out because I don't want to waste Megan's yarn with a swatch. So that's my current plan. So I've been winding balls of yarn and sitting and relaxing and contemplating the year to come. Bye now. Happy New Year. Good morning. It's Barbara. Welcome 2021. Oh my gosh. Finally, we've been waiting and waiting. Oh, I forgot to take my cod liver oil. What a way to start my day. I'll have it. Don't worry. I take it every day. Ah, oh, 2021. We have high hopes for you. Well, quite frankly, we're just hoping that you're way better than 2020. But I know it's not going to look any different for a while, so I'm not getting my hopes too high. But anyway, Happy New Year. I hope you were able to celebrate the transition exactly how you wanted to. I'm, I'm wearing my beautiful sweater from the, car, the Garden Gate by Jennifer Steingast. That way wonderful friend Megan made me I wore this last night I'm wearing my 2021 earrings from Verena and I was very crafty yesterday I felt very crafty yesterday I did go out bought my underwear so I have my brand new pure white underwear on all for the, the ringing in of the new year I got a six pack, so I'm ready for the upcoming decade. Well, six months of it. I got my my library ready. Are you ready? It's all ready to go. Now we just have to find out the high temperature today. Dennis says, he said, oh, it's going to be 43. I'm like, okay, 43. That's crushed berries. And he's like, oh, no, now they say 39. He said, is that a new, co different color? I'm like, yep, that'll be light teal. Light teal and then crushed berries. They go together in my mind. <laughs> oh, I put a little video. I did a little video yesterday. I'll put that here. I did a little video about my library, getting ready. Okay, here I am. I'm just starting to trace. I've got it all taped down. Dennis helped me tape it down, and I'm going to trace it. I've got carbon paper underneath, and it's all... Keep your fingers crossed. You'll see it when I see it. Okay, it's taking me a while. Are you ready?
Ta da! <laughs> it worked! Yay! <laughs> so there's my 221, my 2021 library. And there you go, right there, tomorrow. See what color I have. And I've got to start working on my bookshelves too and figuring out how I'm going to do those. But anyway, I'm really happy with it. I think it's going to work out great. Thank you, Christy. Happy New Year, everybody. If I stop and start the video, it's easy to put another one in there. <laughs> Try to make my life easy. That's, a, that's my goal. <laughs> so, I'm ready. So, my library is ready. That turned out really cool. And it was kind of fun. It was kind of meditative to once I got it, once I stopped panicking. <laughs> well, I tried to do it with a light box the day before. It didn't work. And then I thought, oh no, you know. But all I had to do was tape everything down and then just get my ruler out. It was all straight lines, pretty much. So, so I'm all set. I need to get a project bag and I need to find a an embroidery hoop I haven't embroidered in a long time and I didn't practice yesterday I did swatch I told you I was gonna swatch and I'll put a picture of my swatch here because I already took my swatch apart I swatched with the kid still case the gray Kid Seal case and one of Megan's minis. And I did not want to waste one of Megan's minis on a swatch. So I took it out so I could use it. And I am knitting the backbone. That's what I'm going to be knitting with my... That's what I've already started knitting. I love this sort of 1950s neck. And I... You know, this is going to have mohair, so it's going to be warm. I wanted a warm sweater, although it is three-quarters length sleeves. Now, it's called the backbone because it's got this beautiful detail down the back that she thinks looks like the backbone. And I'm not disagreeing with her. But since I am, the whole point is the what I'm doing with the yarn. And I'm a little annoyed with all these lovely details going down the backs of sweaters. I'm not doing that. It's just going to be plain in the back, just like in the front. Except it's going to be stripy, and you want to see how far I am? <laughs> I did a 20-gram mini. So this is the back of the neck, and I've already... I've already um, joined it in the round. So this is my neck. And I have did a 20 gram mini. And now I have switched to my next color. And I don't know, you know, 20 grams seems like a lot. Of course, this is around the neck. And I thought, you know, get some continuity with that. But, um... The stripes are not going to be the same size. I just thought that green going into that purple was beautiful. So that's what I started last night. So I felt very crafty yesterday. Plus, I got my wrap out and I fixed my wrap. So my wrap is ready to go. And I can just go, 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 go on my wrap. And it looks okay. It's not perfect, but it looks okay. And I'm calm about it. Uh, and I did not do anything on my socks. But my library is ready. I'm so excited. So, but like I said, I have to find a... I have two bags. One of them is what I'm going to use, and one of them is what, the ones I'm not going to use. I'm on the single one bag. Oh, here we go. I'm not, I'm not sure. This is, this is my I'm going to use bag. 
So there's the light teal. It probably will be light teal or berry. Mm -hmm. But, like I said, I have to find an embroidery hoop and project bag. And that'll be good to go. Now, once I start using my silks, I need to figure out how to keep them from unraveling on the spool. I guess, I guess I'll just uh, put a little piece of tape. Christy has some kind of a little gizmo she puts over her spools. Maybe I need to talk to her. <gasps> her package arrived yesterday. Here she is. Here she is. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Oh, I was so happy. And there's Rich wearing his mitts. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. You know, when it was out for delivery, I'm like, oh my gosh, it will get here this year. How wonderful last year. So, so that was good news. Yeah, yeah. So happy new year, everybody. And we'll just let 2021 come on in, relax, have a seat, chill a little bit. Yeah. And then see what, what we can do. Let's do something a little different. Anyway, so I went to bed at one o'clock. I got up a little later today than I have been. I do want to get back into my routine. Oh, excuse me. Get back into my routine, getting up early. It is a little bit cloudy today, but not rainy. It rained yesterday. I've got some straightening to do. Of course, I always do. I took a picture of my champagne last night and I put it on Instagram and then I thought, you know, everyone else's life is curated. Here's here's my picture. Oh. <laughs> my chocolate mousse glass from my dessert, my teacup with my peanut jar, peanut bowl on top of it, all sitting next to me. <laughs> everyone else lives this curated life and there's my... There's my champagne all, you know, like on a junkie table. I think people have like photograph corners in their places where they do their Instagram pictures, you know, so they can put their cup of tea and their little V's of flowers or their two Christmas balls or so they can take their Instagram. I don't curate my Instagram like that. <laughs> I don't curate anything like that. <laughs> it was particularly junky. I don't know why I did that because normally, you know, when I get one glass of something, another glass goes away. <laughs> that didn't happen last night. <laughs> they just accumulated. <laughs> I was busy knitting. I was sitting there knitting. I didn't move around enough. In fact, I should have moved around more. And I got up this morning to, you know, I have dishes to do. Start the new year off doing dishes. <laughs> well, I didn't do them before I went to bed, did I? So anyway, I will be um, getting the names organized for the drawing for the hedgehog fibers. And I'll be doing that tomorrow. And we'll start thinking a little bit about what you know, time to reflect on last year. Maybe, maybe we just ignore it. <laughs> Christy, when she was uh, doing my in, my new intro to my Corona vlog, cause she's like, what did you knit during Corona vlog time? I'm like, well, I don't, you know. 
And I went back and made a list, a partial list, and I made quite a few things. Um, not everything I had pictures of. But, um, you know, it's not, if you don't keep track of what you do, then it's not that easy to do a retrospective since I don't, you know, I'm not good about keeping up with Ravelry or anything. I don't, I don't have a, a record. of my knitting stuff. And I'm very bad about taking pictures. I mean, I sent off all my Christmas presents without taking a picture of them first. But I'm not gonna make any resolutions about journaling or anything like that because that is not happening. That is not happening. I started my five year journal last year didn't make it even to in hardly into the pandemic and it seems like in a pandemic you only have to write four lines you know in a pandemic you're not doing much you can fit your whole day into four lines of course I can't fit it into 20 minutes but you know I'm a talker <laughs> I won't be journaling I just don't think that that's happening Okay, well, we're starting the year off. I uh, <clears throat> I gave myself a couple weeks off, not worrying about my diet too much, actually being off of it a little bit, which I shouldn't have, but I was. So now I'm back, going carnivore for January, and uh, get my get my uh, body back settled down and get my weight going back the right direction. At least I'm didn't break out and <laughs> like I did the last time, which was the stress. I don't know why I say that. I've got a little bubble there. The stress of Garland's passing. It was mostly what it was. Okay. Anyway, so starting fresh for the new year and get back to the basics and get back to my crafting. I'm very excited. I'll see what the high today is. And I need to think about what I'm going to do with my bookshelf. If it's going to be filled in or just, I'm just going to embroider the outline. I have not discussed the actual bookshelf with my daughter yet. Let's see what, what she's planning on. I want to see hers. Today is Friday, right? Friday. So I'll craft with her on Sunday and have a couple days under our, our, our belts and we can have a conversation. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. I will say goodbye. Happy New Year, everybody. Let's hope for health and peace and calmness, tranquility, uh, uh, and health, 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 health. Let's get this pandemic under control and see what, see what our lives look like coming out the other side of all of this. Maybe we'll be better. I think one thing the pandemic has shown us is how important our friends and family are and we take them for granted and not being able to see people this year has been very very hard but very revealing about what's really important in our lives and hopefully we'll take that with us forward even when the restrictions start to be lifted and we'll remember what really turned out to be important in 2020, our community. Thank you for being my community. Thank you so much for your support through all this. And I do sincerely appreciate it and value your company and your support. Thank you. And Happy New Year to us all. And I will be here tomorrow. <laughs> hmm. 
Stay safe and stay sane.